Hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and welcome to episode 79 of the Choking Hazard podcast. This video is brought to you by you. Thank you so much for simply being here and enjoying my content. Please do leave a comment, like the video and consider subscribing if you haven't already for a chance to see your name here in a future video. With my usual co-hosts, Sugarfree Noss over there. That's me, hello. RDT's right there. Hey guys. Josh, Josh is over there. Hello. And we got Hammer in the booth. Hello. And I've got nothing to talk about this this month, so I mean, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> what a great start. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we, we, we are, um, we've just finished watching the Formula One sprint from Baku. Uh, we've started, we are, we are a little bit later than the intended started time, but we're actually two hours earlier than what we would have normally started, so I don't think we, we deserve any kind of lates. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've got, I've got nothing to, to mention really. Like it's been a, I don't, I, not that I can think of anyway. So I'm just going to pass it off to like you guys. Noss has really written a load of stuff eventful? down. So good show. A load of stuff. Yeah, good show. Good show. <laughs> at least, <Bye> it, guys. <laughs> at least it doesn't, at least this show has other people and doesn't rely on me needing to bring topics all the time. Um, so, so, uh, but we'll, we'll, we might as well start it off by saying happy birthday for Nos for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. that's right. My birthday's yeah. tomorrow. Woo. <laughs> uh, how old are you, Nos? Do you want to tell the, I'll the be, audience? I'll be 26. I'll be 26. You're a youngin'? There you go. If you say so. Youngest one on the show. That is so. true. That is true. Um, yeah, I'll be I'll be twenty six. I'm I'm very excited. To be twenty six. I'm eight. sure it'll be a lot like twenty five. Yeah, I, I seem to remember it'll it being be exactly better. the same. What was the best part about twenty five? Because you dwell so much on negative <laughs> stuff. What was the best <laughs> moment of twenty five? Oh my. Ugh. Um... <laughs> Sectomy. <laughs> Yeah, actually, there you go. Thank you. Thank you for filling in the blank. Yeah. ADT knows better than Nost does. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Deafening nice. silence on that question. Just, you know. And, I mean, that's kind of the only thing I really achieved, you know, last year, which sounds bad, but it's, but, but I didn't have any, like, major L's last year either, you know. It so, leveled out like, a little bit. Yeah, well, I, mean, I, I mean, I've just been, just the past year, I've just been trying to save money to move to you know a permanent place so you, have so you got it's, anything it's... planned for your birthday no 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 i i, I don't like my birthday so i don't, I don't uh, usually do anything okay so just gonna, are, you, are you working yeah i'll be working tomorrow oh, okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see my grandmother tomorrow and then go to work so just just like every other sunday <laughs> so, okay. and that's that's just how i like it all right Fair enough. Everyone's different. You do what you want to do on your birthday. That's what I always say. I think. Exactly. Just whatever your own you want to do. Holiday. Yeah. Um, when I, when who's the who's who's got the next birthday? Uh, uh I'm oldest. So you, yeah. June okay. for me. Oh, oh so okay. hammer. I forgot about our lovely producer in the booth. Um, yeah, I'm October. So. Okay. So, so, I'm I'm the latest. You could all you're all having your birthdays before me. That's how it, that's yeah. how it's working. Great. Well, you had the most recent one. That's so. true. Yeah, <laughs> I got it recent. It's it's funny how time, time is a crazy works. thing, dude. <laughs> it's, it's like a big it's circle. We are in this circle. You know, like crazy. the clock things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Incredible. Bruffy's birthday is every day. Yeah, yeah. I. Yeah. <laughs> um. Mm. Right, so Nos, you wrote down most of the things for the topic, so you might as well start us off with with what you've got to talk about. Okay, I mean, I doubt this will be a very interesting topic since none of y'all. Uh, I mean, it seems like the the minor GTA. I'm gonna bring up GTA. Everybody, <gasps> you buckle brought up, up GTA. He was the first one to bring up GTA. I didn't say anything about <laughs> GTA. <It's, sighs> yeah. I, I, I don't know if you've seen it on Twitter, and several other people have made videos, but. So I've known about this for a little while, um, but the PS3 emulator, the the primary one, um, RPCS3, 
um, it has online functionality, which makes it uh, unique um, from the Xbox 360 emulator uh, uh, Xenia. Um, so on the PS3 emulator, you can actually play online, and uh, people have been able to go back and experience uh, Beach Bum Update circa GTA Online and play it. And it's it's been interesting to see people uh, see people do that. Um, I did this did uh, uh, hit my hit my like Twitter timeline, and I, I thought it lo- looked quite interesting that people had been able to do that. Like we did that for anyone who didn't see it. We did that when. Was it when, like, before they stopped supporting the 360 and PS3 versions of the game, we did a game night on old gen GTA? I um, think well before. It was I well it was before like, that, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I actually just recently went back and watched that. It was, it was fine. There were some good clips in there. There were some good clips. We had we had a good night that night. It was some fun times checking out the old gen version of the game. Um, I, I, that Bring was on the podcast night. channel. I'll leave a link to that if anyone wants to actually watch it. Um because that, we we did have some good good times on that stream, but this is even older than that. Like yeah, that this was is, this that is was as the old final as you update. Can get. But, yeah. yeah. Now, the only reason I haven't played it yet is is just the um like obviously the saves were like on the Rockstar servers, so there's like you're playing with a temporary character right. essentially. So like there were quite a few multiplayer games. Um, you know, on the in the 360 PS3 era, where your your online data was stored locally, uh, example of that would be Red Dead Redemption. Um, I've played Red Dead Redemption multiplayer a good bit, probably probably more about 12 hours, I would say, um, on the emulator. The emulator works um, pretty well. It, its performance doesn't really match Xenia's performance at the moment, um, but it's still very playable on on most titles. Uh, but that's the only reason I haven't played it is just like every time you would get on, you'd have to make your character, and, uh, and then you have to go through and, the tutorial and all that kind of stuff. Well, I don't, every time. I don't think I don't. You might be able to skip the tutorial, maybe. I I don't know. Um, I don't remember them bringing in the ability to skip the tutorial for a while. I yeah, like maybe, was... maybe you're right, but but yeah. So, but and again, this is not on PS3. This is on PC via an emulator. Yeah, you're um, emulating the p- old PS3 version of the game. Yeah, but you know that. But when saves were server side, they weren't as susceptible to you know editing them and modding them like everyone did on Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> so, yeah, um, so it's, it's kind of fun that it exists though. That. Like it, it, it's yeah, it's nice that like there's a little bit of the history of of GTA from that snapshot of of time that yeah. you can go well, back. Well, I mean and play. that's. That's kind of the the thing of emulation is is to is, is like a time capsule, you know. Yeah. Um. And that that's that's what's so important about emulation as a uh, as a project as a thing is to preserve these games that that wouldn't be preserved otherwise, you know. Because because eventu- eventually there may not be very many PlayStation twos out there in the wild that work, you know. Like so. Being able to play those games on your PC through an emulator um, in kind of modern settings is is really important. So, and, and emulation is very important for kind of conservation of uh, video games. I think so. Yeah, th- th- this kind of reminds me of the old classic WoW situation or cl- uh, old school RuneScape, where like there's a MMO that like th- these games still exist, but you can't play them in their older forms, <laughs> right? Because they just get updated forever, so it's like, yeah, GTA Five and GTA Online still exists, but like in a completely different way to what you, you know most people remember it as. So yeah, going back to be able to play like this is like yeah the the classic GTA Online right like from twenty thirteen or whatever. I remember, I remember when the it. multiplayer trailer came out. I was so hyped for that. Yeah. It was like you can do anything. You can go anywhere jump off buildings with your friends and <laughs> and now i was like when it first came out it was so bare bones and then the and then we played it so out. much we wanted yeah. to jump off of buildings with our friends <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it was so bare bones and they started adding stuff and it got to like a nice sweet spot and then it just jumped the shark and i got flying motorcycles and all these military vehicles it was like a big deal when someone had the rhino tank 
Back yeah. in the oh, early yeah, days. You were the you were like you 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 were like the lobby destroyer in yeah. a rhino, you know. <laughs> it's like, oh get out of here, this guy's got a tank. And now it's like you got a tank, dude? What are you gonna do to me? <laughs> yeah. I think the other thing that, that makes it not like me not interested in playing it is like you can't play the contact missions because those were all Rockstar server like mm-hmm. cloud based. You you hmm. can do you can do a lot of you can basically do everything that was on the disc. So so like races and survivals, I think, and some death matches and stuff like that you can do, but but you can't do contact missions and um there's a decent selection of other stuff you, you, you can't do. Um but it's it's real interesting to kinda of take a peek at. You know, it's not something that you could you could like play for a long period of time. But it's still interesting and I figured I'd bring it up. And I totally get the the desire for people to do that. Like it, it, it's it is it it it's a novelty to go back to a time when we just didn't have the insane bloat that we have of these games now. Especially, you know, they get updated so much that they're be- they're unrecognizable from when they were when they started. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and yeah, it it's fun. It was really fun when we went back and played it. Um, and yeah, like you say, there there was definitely a sweet spot at a certain point, and then it it just it just kept getting more and more bloated as time went on to the point where it's yeah. just too much. I, I, I can't really pinpoint it, but I would say maybe around like cunning stunts. Yeah. It was like when it was peak ish. Yeah, at least like, when the stunt when they had race like, creator yeah. came yeah. out. And there was like a few businesses. Like the import export was out by then, I think, as well. So there was like a few little businesses and the stunt creator and those races and mm-hmm. a good number of cars at that point, maybe not ridiculous hundred cars in the class and things like Yeah. That maybe I think that that's was even when I was spot. playing. Yeah. That's that, yeah. That's even when I was playing was back there. Yeah, when they they released that the 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 prototype car, didn't they? The yeah, I and yeah, I, the one that, I didn't like, realize you actually golf. played. Yeah, yeah, I, that's that's how I know who you are because I watched your like <laughs> what the fastest car is videos. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, I remember yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it going back to old gen GTA. It's not something you can do legitimately anymore because it doesn't exist. <laughs> Yeah. So good for emulation, giving us the things yeah. that we want. Yeah, and it's 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 uh, you know I think it's a major achievement. Emulation is a major achievement, of course, but like being able to play online with other people yeah. is, is super mm-hmm. cool through emulation. You know, like I like I've had a I've had a blast playing the original Red Dead multiplayer. You know, because that was like my favorite thing ever. So yeah, um, yeah, that's know, crazy. It's, I never would have thought about that doing online play through emulation yeah that's nuts and and like i said the the red dead multiplayer is the perfect um like is perfect for that because your save is local so you don't have to connect any server for your save and all the content is is like there through the downloads and on the disc like there wasn't any kind of cloud anything or any server based anything the only server based thing was leaderboards that was it and those and those eventually got taken down you know well into the game's lifespan so i would so, really yeah. like to go back to gta 4 again i think you can mm. play gta 4 on yeah. I, I don't know how well gta 4 runs to the emulator at the moment i'd have to look into that well, um, um well, okay, on this three, was on like xbox one yeah th- this was brought up um in a stream recently and I think it was Spear actually said that uh, you can play it on Xbox Series via backwards compatibility. And then he just got me a code, and so I've added it. So I have GTA 4 on Xbox Series X, but I haven't tried it out yet. But supposedly the multiplayer just works on there, and it has, like, frame rate upgrades, like, you know, up to 60 FPS and stuff. So oh, really, I, I think I've DLCs, read a way yeah. to do it. Yeah. I, I I think I've read a way to do it on PC to like if you downgrade your version or something. Mm. Like there's some stuff you can do in order to in order to still do it. Um, yeah, but I, I I don't know anything about it. I'm just going to look for the easiest way possible, honestly. <laughs> yeah, though there is some way on PC to do My it. My whole life, a bunch of yeah. GTA speedrunners play together as well occasionally. Right. Yeah. Well, it's, I, it's I tried a shame to that they get removed people. it, honestly. I tried to get people together to play Red Dead's multiplayer with me, and nobody will. Um, which makes me sad. I asked GTA men 
I was like, hey, GTA man, I, I know you like this game. Come play with me. Here, set it up. So he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get some people together. He never contacts me again. And then he <laughs> releases this video where he has the emulator running, multiplayer working, and he's playing GTA online. So I just <laughs> messaged him in Discord. I was like, hey, so you got the emulator running? You going to play with me now? <laughs> Yeah, too big he for his like, purchase, man. He was like, oh, I forgot. And then I just called him a nerd. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, classic GTA man. But uh, maybe maybe now that I've reminded him for the seventh time, maybe he'll he'll get some people together and we can we can actually do it. Because cause what I want to do, I want to do a death match. I want to do an 8v8 death match or some like capture the bag, you know. Cause, cause that's the, cause I've, I've played it and you could do the gang hideouts and you could do all the co-op stuff. Like I did all the co-op missions and stuff, but I really want to do some PVP in that game because I was very good at it. It's the only game I've ever been truly good at. <laughs> so you want to relive the glory days. Yeah. I want to relive being good at a video game for you know, <laughs> possibly the last time. It's impossible <laughs> nowadays. No, like, I know. People are cracked at video games now. Yeah, because we, when we were just talking about Golden Age and all this stuff, I just thought back to 2017, late 2017 Fortnite, where people didn't even know how to build or anything. And it was kind of like the new hotness. And now you just got kids building like mansions, the Burj Khalifa <laughs> out of friggin wood. You're like, what is going on right <laughs> now? How, how is this to- building in Fortnite anymore? They removed it. Yeah, I know. That's a good mode. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but if anyone's be. listening and and wants to play the original Red Dead multiplayer, uh, find my Discord and I'll, I'll you know that'd be nice. So <sighs> if I wasn't so busy, I would be quite interested. Yeah. But Get I will busy. forever be, be too busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah just stop yeah. moving house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. really. No. That's whoa! What a segue! What, what a segue! I was waiting for someone a, to, to uh, <laughs> acknowledge. Actually, actually, so what are you busy with, Josh? Well, I'm not busy with moving anymore. Um, yeah, so yeah, I I forgot that. Yeah, last podcast I didn't actually wasn't actually moved in yet, but yeah, I am now. I've been for almost a month, I suppose. Um, yeah, I, I live in Bournemouth now. Um, it's it's quite a nice place. Um, I don't think I have anything too crazy or interesting to talk about. Is the problem? Yeah, you <laughs> um, talked about how difficult it was to rent last yes. episode. Yes, I went through all of that stuff, but now that's all done. Now, like, I never hear from them at all, like the the state agents or the landlords or anything. Like, we had some we had some boiler problems when we first moved in, um, but I like found the account number of the landlord and just rang up like the British Gas myself because like it was. It was on the weekend. There was like a bank holiday on the Friday, and then it was the weekend, and then it was bank holiday Monday. So I was like, I was never going to hear from anyone for ages. So I just, yeah, did it myself. Um, Dude, but other than that, so many random bank holidays. Like I work with people in the UK, and they're off on Monday, I guess, because of Labor Day. Is that what you guys have? There's Ooh, three no this idea. month. Yeah, well, yeah. Three. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't get bank holidays. So I don't even know what they are or when they are ever, because I don't have a job. <laughs> well, yeah, no, neither do I. May day. You have May Day on May, Monday. Yeah. May the, Day. The May yeah. Day bank holiday is the first first Monday in May, and then we get the last Monday in May, and then some twat's getting a stupid hat put on his head at some point. I think as well. Oh, so. the king's coronation. Yeah. Hmm. That's coming but up. That that seems to be getting a lot of like attention from people, and I like it's just just passing me by completely. Like I don't care. Yeah, I, I feel I've like seen... a- anti monarchy sentiment is like up over there. Would that be accurate to say? Or... I have no idea. Well, I just don't. Not... I just don't care enough. Yeah, it's not it. anti monarchy. It's just monarchy like like um, indifference. Oh. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, indifference. Like you just don't care. Really. It's just whatever. It's like not relevant to our lives at all. I don't know. Like the Queen's face was like on everything, kind of like on our money and passports and stuff like that. But it's like okay, whatever. You don't have to get new passports, right? Because no, okay. I, I until they expire. I, I got a new one recently, and it still says Her Majesty and all that stuff in it. So they haven't even updated it yet. So whatever. So yeah, nah, it is what it is. I'm not bothered. 
Yeah. It's not the queen, so <laughs> I don't care about the rest of them. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, didn't you have trouble with internet or something? Getting that installed. Oh, oh, right. I guess I didn't I talk about I saw this. You oh, on God. Twitter talking. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. Okay, I would have forgotten about all this. Yeah, of course. It's funny now that I have internet. I never even think about it anymore. Of course. <laughs> um, yeah. So before I moved in, like two weeks before, like when it was like even sort of vaguely confirmed that we had the place, I ordered uh, full fiber internet from Vodafone. Um, and it all went, f- you know, went through and everything. I got all the emails and stuff. I was like, okay. And they'll send me the thing. They'll send me like the router and stuff. Like two working days it will arrive before, two working days before my move in date. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll just wait till then. Then like days pass or whatever. And then I'm like, I'm getting ready with the move and I don't think about it, but it never arrives. And then I get all the way here. And then I'm just like, oh, yeah, I never got that router or whatever. So I asked mum if it had been delivered back at her place and she said no so i was like okay that's fine so i looked i was like okay it must be late or whatever i looked online and like i can't log into my account or anything i'm like what and i check all my emails and i look for the tracking numbers and nothing exists so i'm just like what the hell so i i ring vodafone up and then they can't find my account they can't find anything um And after like, yeah, several hours of trying to figure this out it turns out that my order was just cancelled like it just it just didn't happen like i i placed the order it, it went all through and everything and then for like it just i don't know it just it disappeared it just didn't exist oh god like in the system my order just didn't exist anymore so it was just like okay so then they were like okay well now that we figured that out i'll put you through to sales or whatever so that you can sort a new thing out so like, this okay, is why yeah, we sure, can't get good at games anymore, because we're all old and have to deal with this shit in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> but I went through the sales and I explained the situation to her, and then she was like, okay, well, yeah, if we do an install now, it will be like in two weeks' time. Or no, it was no, it was three weeks actually. Would it have been installed by now? Three it would have been, weeks. It would have been it would have been installed yesterday. Oh god. It would have been installed yesterday. So I was just like, right. And she was like, oh yeah, and it will be this price and i was gonna get it for 35 pounds which is for the price i had found she was quoting me 47 pounds a month and i was just like i was just like mm, that's not what i was gonna get paid and she's like yeah sorry i can't honor that price and then i just i kind of was on the phone and i just kind of snapped i was like okay so you're telling me you cancelled my order without telling me wasted my time right i've lost all my lead time before i move into this place now because i'm here and i have nothing you're then telling me I then have to wait three weeks for another internet connection, and you want me to pay more for it. I was just like, I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. And then I just put the phone down. Jeez. <laughs> Good. Then, messing with your livelihood and stopped... making you pay more. Yeah. I was just like, I was just absolutely insane. I was like, I'm not doing this. So yeah. I put the phone down, and then I, I, I so the, the thing, like, the reason I went with Vodafone is because they were the only ones that could, for whatever reason, offer full fiber to my place. Um, but uh, like fiber just, to the premises, so yeah, like, like full full fiber all the but way. But I mean, like that's no, like a that must be open reach, right? Like it's their their yes, infrastructure. So surely there must I be would've... other companies that. That's weird. That's what I would have thought. I I tried all other companies; they won't have anything. But um, for for reasons that aren't doxing me, my property is kind of weird. So, okay. um, so it makes sense. Um, which is. W- well, then I went. I just went to like BT. I just got regular phone line internet in the end. But I, I so now I have. But it still took a couple of weeks for it to arrive because you know I was like ordering it from nowhere. But mm. but yeah, I got the router from them and that's all installed fine and it's just going now. But what's yeah, your, I have what's your speeds. Yeah, I got I got three hundred down and twenty up. I think was it three hundred and first phone I line. Into, I thought that I thought it, the max yeah. was like eighty or something, seventy five. I know like it's really weird. It's like it's it's like they they call it like not full fiber. It's like fiber something. I don't know. I talked so like I talked to a guy on the phone about it, a trainee at BT who was like really helpful, and I was asking him all these questions like, okay, so is this ADSL or is it like full fiber or whatever? He said it's some weird mix thing. Yeah, like semi fiber. I don't understand. So it's still using the phone line. I have a box plugged into the phone line, but they had to come That's and like really put weird. a special box on it. Yeah, 
I don't know. It's weird, but I do. I get like yeah, three hundred, or is it two hundred down? It's one of those numbers. I don't know. It's the up I care about. It's like enough yeah. up to stream, and that's yeah. all that matters. Man, and we I should have had enough up to stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, My if anyone's noticing Noss's <laughs> yeah. camera yeah, being uh, less yeah, than terrible. less less than less than perfect, it's because his internet's. What, what what did you say your speeds were? Uh, well, well, normally I get I get a gigabit down and thirty up, and right now I'm getting like one and a half up. Like I've just got drop packets off the at the wazoo. <laughs> so Man, that I is such a gamer huge difference down crazy. to up though. Yeah, yeah that's it is. Weird. I have no idea why. It just yeah. it just be like that. I, I don't I don't know. Yeah, normally normally full fiber is symmetrical. It's yeah, like... that's that's what they. I keep everyone that I talk to keeps telling like from Spectrum, which is the provider for our area. Um, it's like oh, a f- full fiber is coming, is coming. Here it comes. It's never so. <laughs> But anyway, whatever the problem is, I had a tech out yesterday, and it's from the pole back. Like, it's nothing to do with my property or any of my equipment. So hmm. I just have to sit and wait. Great. It frustrates yeah, I, me the internet is not to like, Not to hijack that on the, on the internet, you know. Yeah. yeah when, I, when we I were in Sweden, it was like we had it gigabit up and gigabit down in Zexy's bold place and... Then yeah. it was always every single well, you package also was lived like in like the best country ever. Well, yeah, but like so. it, it, like I have the best internet you can get in my area now is nine hundred down and a hundred up. Like, why don't they just hmm. balance it out? Really? Yeah. God damn, you guys got real gamer internet. That's insane. I thought I was living in the lap of luxury with two hundred up, two hundred down. But you guys are over here. <laughs> well, you got better upload than I do. So yeah, yeah. I, what do I need it for? Uh, no, okay. <laughs> give, give me, give me, give me, give me. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. So then, then I had um one of one of my followers on Twitter as I was ranting about it said they worked at Vodafone as like a programmer. So then they looked into it. They forwarded it to like a a support person or whatever, like a higher up support person. Yeah, and they just said, yeah, the order just vanished. They don't know why. It's just like, I'm just like, okay. So yeah, that was the end That's of that. So strange. Don't yeah. go with Vodafone. Never... <laughs> yeah, it was so weird. Like if if they had like if they had done it and then cancelled it, then it would have been if they told me, right? If like three days in they had told me, yeah. I would have been absolutely fine with it. And I'd be like, oh okay, sure, I'll try somewhere else or whatever. Like, yeah, I don't know. I I, well, I feel I like thought... if they didn't try to charge you more on top of that, you probably would be with Vodafone right now. Yeah. Maybe I still would have like you'd, yeah yeah you'd still played. be real upsetty but mm. yes it was it was all three things happening that made me just like I was just like no I'll I'll accept worse internet to like not get screwed that yeah. hard right yeah how is yeah, the right, new place like though that. is it is it good yeah yeah it's great yeah. yeah join it it's all fine I don't really there's nothing really that I can talk about. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> without boxing myself yeah. but yeah no, it's imagine nice. it has this number of bedrooms and a kitchen and a roof so <laughs> yes yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> um yeah. And, and did it take you long to get everything set up mm, yeah I suppose you're pretty good at it now after having done it like 60,000 times yes <laughs> I did yes I did tighten the bolts on my desk so it's a lot less wobbly now which is really good um yeah, yeah, I, I got it all set up. I've got my iRacing set up now as well. Uh, um, since like I actually have room for that now, which is nice. Know, stay safe out there. I saw that tweet of that iRacing guy. Who, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, what, he yeah, dislocated his pinky or something? Yes, he, he dislocated his pinky finger. Yeah, for that... anybody that didn't see, I guess he had force feedback on his professional racing setup, and he, he... got rear-ended during a caution, and the wheel just went crazy, and he was holding on with one hand and then his finger got dislocated by a friggin video game controller <laughs> yeah that's yeah. the future brother <laughs> like i yeah. love it's ready player one <laughs> those, those big um those big yeah direct drive wheels they they normally have safety features where if they like if you're holding them and they can feel resistance or whatever they don't output that much like torque but the thing is, because he was chilling behind the safety car or the parade lap or whatever he, he was only holding the wheel lightly he just had hands around it so it was just free spinning at max force, and obviously he's got his hands in the way of it. Damn. But I gotta put yeah, your yeah. Legs in those things. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dislocated his finger because of the crash. Yeah. 
Just break Crazy. your nose. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, yeah. But yeah, um, that's all house-wise. Yeah, I don't... Sorry, nothing super interesting to say. It's just it's just well, a place. Just and joining just the club, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been good. I'm just enjoying it. Um. Well, back to you then, Nos. You know, another one that you wrote down. <laughs> you you've got more 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 things for us. Yeah. Um. Uh, in my house news, I didn't write this down. There's water damage in the roof of the office. Congrats. Oh, <laughs> right on good. this house. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. There was water damage in the living room, so I called them. They sent over a gentleman. He's like, "Yes, you need whole new roof. You need whole new roof." <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like. Okay, I don't need a whole new roof. Y'all need a whole new roof. <laughs> so, uh, this is where you're presumably happy you they did owner, nothing to the own. roof. They just painted the ceiling of the living room, and now there's water damage there. So I imagine someone's going to come out, and they're going to say, you need a whole new roof. Whole new <laughs> roof. You need a whole new roof. Uh, and then they're going to paint over this, and then I'll send them another message of water damage somewhere else, and we'll do this until I move out in November. It's going to be great. Um, Get a bunch of buckets. Just go to Home Depot. (laughs) Um, But as for the topic I I had written down, I put this in the in the document as I have a plan. I just need money. Um, But in reality, (laughs) (laughs) but in reality, it's just it's just an update on uh, my plan for my beach trip. so I, I got a new top on the Miata, which I would show you a photo of it if I had my phone. But it's the top looked bad. Now it looks good. It you know it, it's not really any interesting photo. Um, but I had a I ordered one and I had a buddy of mine put it on, um, and it's uh, it's great. I'm I'm excited. So that's that's kind of, that was kind of the main thing I needed to get done before I went to the beach because I don't want to be down there and not be able to drive in the rain because it rains quite often down there. Um, so yeah that, that's kind of it nice. um, as for I need so money so you don't just... need you, you, do, you, do you need money or do well, you, no, do you I, need no, money I still just how you spent money. it <laughs> well I, I need more money to to get back up to uh, the money I want to have for the down payment on the uh, oh, yeah, okay. on the mobile home whenever I move into it Yeah. so I'm, I'm about $2,000 off from that now um so I gotta grind until I go to the beach, essentially. So, so I'm back to working, you know, six days, and you know, I'm gonna try to get over fifty this week and next and forever and ever. You're grinding Sigma at grind the beach as well, though, right? Like you're gonna go down there. You're going down there to work, or I thought that's yeah, what you yeah. Said. I'll be I'll be working while I'm down there. I just I want to have everything taken care of up here before yeah. I go. Just. Just to, just in case something goes wrong, or maybe I don't want to work as much down there, or maybe the money for some reason I don't see why it would, but maybe it's not as good down there. You know, yeah. I, just, I just want to be prepared for whatever. Um, Smart. And yeah, I just I just need I need money. You know, it's, see, this I is why we can't money. be good at games because too busy worried about money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If only I could get paid for playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> would be um, nice yeah yeah that would never happen <laughs> you're wasting your life playing video games you should stop right. it's funny because um <laughs> in my office we every time like we have a team meeting on thursday so we'll go to this one office this one conference room in the corner and we'll walk by this guy and he's always playing video games and i'm like i how are is you getting the, away with this? Is he the Sam Bankman Freed of of your of your office? He's just no, playing. No. Like, like. I'm like I'm like. How is this guy getting away with this? He he's just playing video games. And we just recently found out that he's one of the uh, tech review guys on on uh, at Insider. So he was like playing video games to review them. I was like, uh, oh, oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. That's what that's what I want. I don't want to just play video games for a, for a living. I want to get on a train and go to a fancy office to then play <laughs> video <laughs> games for a living so that I feel professional, even though I'm still just playing video games. Yeah, yeah surely he was there's... like playing Soul Calibur. I was like, what the, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Like surely there's no reason for him to be at the office. Like he could quite easily be as effective at home playing games. Maybe. 
I don't know. Maybe he just likes rubbing it in people's faces. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I would totally. <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> pay more than you, fool. <laughs> just to show off. Yeah. The thing is, I feel like everything that you do, even if it's like playing games, as soon as you start doing it as a job and you have to do it, uh, it, it becomes less fun. And then you're yeah. playing games that you might not want to play, and you've got to then leave a game that you like because you got to go to something that you don't like. Like, I can see being a reviewer of games not being as fun as it seems to be. Yeah, yeah. and it's probably a difficult job too because if you, I think uh, video game donkey was talking about this at one point. He's like, he doesn't really like JRPGs, but if he has to play one and review it, he's not going to give it a fair score because it's yeah. not his genre. So it it's tough to be unbiased when it comes to those things, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. And like, I don't play games off streams anymore. Like I just really I just do not play games in my free time. Not that I have that much free time, but like, I just don't. So yeah, I don't either. But for kind of different reasons, it's just it it's just more fun when people are there. I think so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and remember all the buttons. Group that's of true. degenerates. No more. Puzzles. I I I play stuff in my spare time. Yeah, still, I don't play games for a job so yeah, <laughs> when yeah, I do yeah, spend yeah. time and I am playing games it's what do you play fun. like me uh I've been playing well I mean I guess it's kind of weird right I'm playing magic arena um I would consider i racing in my spare time most of the time because like mm -hmm. I'm only just streaming on my second account not my main account and I'm just like playing um I don't know Mario Kart <laughs> I play stuff with like my girlfriend and things. Yeah, okay. I still do stuff. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll hop on Call of Duty, but even that, I'm so bad. Like it's insane. <laughs> yeah. People are nutty, and I'll play like NASCAR Heat Five with some guys on Xbox. Um, just got into Riders Republic, which is a fun little game. Um, I just random stuff. Yeah, it's like you you remember Steep? It's like a snowboarding okay. skiing video game. It's kinda like that. Um Yeah, just random stuff. I was playing Max Payne three the other night. I died a bunch of times. Yes, dude, just quit Max, out. Payne, Max Payne three every time I've just have to say I think it has some of the best third person combat of any third person combat game. That yeah, is, well, I like, suck, so <laughs> yeah, I kept dying. I, I think Max Payne 3 is, is so good. It, it's it's so, so good. So, I'll, I'll try to power through. The last game I probably played all the way through and thoroughly enjoyed was, I, I want to say it was probably Elden Ring. You know, something that wasn't multiplayer focused. Mm -hmm. um, I'll probably pick up the new Star Wars game soon because I really like the last one. But and I gotta yeah. finish and beat uh, what was the Breath of the Wild? I but every time I pick it up, I'm like, why am I in this field? Why am I getting killed by a horse right now? What's going on? So I might just have to start over. Yeah, I suppose yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've been playing Jedi Survivor and really enjoying it. Yeah. Is it good? Is it better than the last one? Or on par? Um, uh story wise it's kind of getting there um okay. movement is a lot more fluid which is nice uh combat is is kind of a little bit easier i would say than the last one well i seem um, to remember you playing the last one on like the easiest difficulty not to call yeah. you out or anything but because you yeah, wanted to enjoy yeah. the story and whatnot yeah yeah, yeah, and I'm playing this one on the easiest difficulty as well, and I would say it's even easier <laughs> than on the okay. easiest difficulty. But um, I would say uh, I'm playing it on PS5, and it is rough. Really? Yeah, yeah, I've heard that oh, my too. good mm -hmm. God. <laughs> is it rough? I actually have that written down for gaming news. <laughs> so, like, so. My, my TV that I'm playing it on has G-Sync vrr and FreeSync, and it still can't cope with the screen tearing <laughs> and oh, still can't Christ. give me a stable frame rate <laughs> it's like that's like i knew it was going to be bad right when the frame EA. started chugging on the ea logo <laughs> <laughs> i was like 
oh my god <laughs> that's that yeah is, that's uh, why that's I, I've just However, not even thought about playing it immediately I've just like it, it wasn't anywhere you can't close even to... play games immediately anymore like you no, can't I, don't. I am either. I am enjoying it it's it's enjoyable despite the annoying screen tearing and yeah. uneven frame rate um I'm looking forward and... to playing it whenever I get around to like doing a playthrough of it like I did with the first game, probably like two years after its release. Yeah. yeah. Right when um, all the hype cools down. Yeah. You're like, all right, let's pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing as we've sort of segued on to Fallen Order, um, did you know that Fallen Order uh, was produced... It, right, this might be the reason why it's so jank on PC and PS5. But um, did you know it was produced entirely from home? Like the whole and in record time for a AAA game, it took three and a half years from development start to development finish. Um, oh, wow. And uh, the studio responsible for it, Respawn, they're going to continue working from home because they all much prefer it. Um, they've built uh, systems and meetings and whatnot that specifically around working from home. Um, they all love it. And uh, yeah, it's amazing that they, it's amazing that like when you give people the autonomy that they want, that they can produce things in record time for you, isn't it? It's just, mm-hmm. it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, that, I think I remember we talked about this when like we were sort of coming towards the, or we'd been in the, the pandemic for a while and we were talking about how RDT had been working from home for a while. And I, I think I put the question to you at the time, like, do, do you think that this will mark a change? You know, will, will people just not go back to work and, and, you know, demand more? And I think we mostly said, no, probably not because businesses are hopeless. But, like, it does seem like it makes sense in a lot of ways. If you don't have to go in to do something or you go in once or twice a week or something, companies get more work out of you. They, they, they get better results. Like, who would have thought that being comfortable when you're trying to do work is is helpful? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it is really different strokes for different folks. Um, I go in like twice a week max. And it is nice, especially when you're starting out. If you go to a new company or something, I would definitely suggest going in. Because it's just, and if everyone else is, it's just easier when you're learning new processes and how things work. To If you're sitting next to someone and just be like, hey... Can you show me how this is yeah. done rather than being like, hey, hop on a Slack, hop on a Zoom, do whatever, run through it, share your screen. I, I definitely feel like there first. is still value to being in with everybody else who you're working with, at least at some point, like a couple of times yeah. a month or a few, one or twice a week or something like that. Yeah, going out for drinks after work, you know, yeah. I'm not some corporate chill, but it is nice to get out there and socialize a bit. Yeah. Well, I mean, for, for all the benefits of work from home, it, 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 it is a still a contributor to people being further atomized from others, too. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, you, you know, if you don't have to go out to get groceries, you don't have to go out to get food, you don't have to go out to go to work, you don't have, like, you know, it, you know, it could be bad, <laughs> but, <Yeah. laughs> you know, but it could be great, too. So it just... I think it's it's all on an individual basis, you know. Yeah, not one hundred percent one way or the other for sure, but whatever you prefer. There's definitely a balance somewhere in the middle. I think it's dependent on where you start. Like if you you know, you start like all these years you've been going into the office and you have a friend group and and, and a robust system like that, and then you transition to working from home, like you're gonna be fine because you already have that stuff in place. Yeah. But like, say you're just out of college and you don't, you know, your first job, now you're working from home, you know, like you, you're in a, you're somewhere that's not where you went to college. So you don't have any friends anymore. You know, it's it's, it's like, how are you going to do things? You know? Yeah, for sure. It's tough. I got to find your way in this world, man. No one's going to do it for you. The <laughs> AI is going to do it for us. So Bro, we'll all be out of a job. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Snapchat just introduced an AI chat uh, bot. It does thing. not know your location. <laughs> Apparently not, but knows where the nearest McDonald's is. <laughs> I'll, I'll be able to, in a couple of years' time, I'll be able to just load up a stream and let an AI do it for me. 
It would be better than mine. You could probably I already do. do that. I could probably go to chat GPT, type up a script of the vi- in the video style of Ruffy1322 <laughs> explaining why the Truffade Adder is the best vehicle in GTO. <laughs> So, and I guarantee you it would come up with five paragraphs that sound right. Yeah. <laughs> that At least the AI wrong. will be late. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's <laughs> one way it would have me. Um, whoa. Right what's, right what's, what's this next bit of topic? Well, which one are we on? Yeah, oh, Max yeah, Mavis had, Mavis had surgery um, in the month um, uh, since our last episode. Um and she got her tubes out. That's what she did. So yeah. that's a bit yeah, overkill, she, don't you think? I'm she, sorry. Well, <laughs> well, she she uh yeah she got a I think it's called a bilateral south salpinectomy south whatever it's it's where they take take uh take your fallopian tubes out. So um and it's uh, you might think it's overkill, but I mean you always have to consider the fact that there I mean there may be a future. It, it, this sounds bad, but there's no other way to say it. But the, you know, the, there might be a future where we're not together for one reason or another, right? So it's for her and her bodily autonomy. You know, it. it you know, that's the reason she did it. She's always wanted to do it. Hundred um, percent. And you might be so, superhuman, and your vast deference might just like. I mean, they, <laughs> they can't. They can actually spontaneously reconnect. That is a thing that can happen. I know. That's what um, I'm saying. So. But yeah, so she had that done, which is a which is a real um, yeah. I, that's what I told her is that when uh, if somehow she gets pregnant, it's gonna be really unfortunate that we have to that she has to abort the second coming of Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really unfortunate when that happens. Um, Ew. <laughs> but yeah, but she um, she's 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 uh, yeah. See, Mavis is in chat. She says it was great. It was so, great, yeah. I'm okay. glad it went well and that you're happy. Yes, yeah. The recovery's been good, and yeah. and uh, procedure was good. Uh, and she had a cyst on her um, right uh, ovary that they took out. So, oh, bonus. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah <laughs> Double bonus. kill. <laughs> yeah, how, exactly. how, so, how did this all happen, though? Because I seem to remember when you got your vasectomy, it was, like, incredibly difficult. For It was so easy for you to just go to the doctors and be like, oh, I want to do this. Okay, we're done. And you, you were talking about how it's not that easy. For women. Well, it's kind it's kind of one of those things where if you if you get the right doctors, mm. you can do it as easily as you can any other um procedure, and if you don't have the right doctors, then you can. Yeah. Okay. Like 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 for instance, so so it, like you really just have to be lucky because so so say let's take my insurance for example, I can change primary care providers twice a year, I think, maximum. Um so, and for your insurance to cover a procedure, you have to have a referral from your primary care to go somewhere. So, like, there's a bunch of different roadblocks you could be set with. Like, you could you could not have a you could have a primary care provider that won't give you the referral. You could have, and then that referral, or and then if you get one that will give you a referral, whatever um, OB OBGYN they refer you to could be like, mm, you don't have kids, and mm, you might change your mind. So, like, like you'd have to go back to the start. You'd have to change, like, like it'd just be really difficult. But yeah. luckily, both both Mavis's primary care provider and the OBGYN she got referred to um, were, you know, were good doctors. Yeah, it's as simple as that. That's good. You know. Hmm. So she said in the chat, she rolled a, rolled a twenty. <laughs> like, yeah, I get, I get it. I, you just have yeah, to be lucky. It, yeah, especially especially where we live. Right? Yeah, especially down here in Alabama. It's you know, it's well at least it's yeah. done now, and then that you know that's both of you sorted and yes. covered and well yeah. yeah, and I and I think that you know it's it, I think I may have talked about this a little bit when when I got the vasectomy a year ago, but and, and my views have still not changed that I see an attack on contraception uh, contraception in the future. Mm. Um, to what degree that attack will happen, I don't know, but but I certainly I, I certainly see an attack on that in the future of this country. So when that comes, you won't 
pun intended, you won't have any. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. You won't have any. Any recourse, you know. Yeah. So it's like when when when. You know. So, but now we've both taken care of that, and we will not have that issue no no matter what. You know, if they if they outlaw abortion completely and outlaw contraception completely, we're you know there's no going back. <laughs> so. They can't. They can't stick them back in. <laughs> exactly. Good. Congrats to Mavis. Yes. Congrats to Mavis. Um. Land of the free. Oh, Josh disappeared. Yeah. Why did I disconnect? Okay. Um, rest oh in no. Peace. It's your Stella. Um. BT semi fiber. Yeah. 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 Vodafone strikes back. <laughs> yeah. Vodafone head what you were talking about, Josh. They heard how you talked about them. Vodafone doesn't like that. Vodafone, yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, I'm connecting. connecting. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, gaming news, then. I mean, we, we I guess we've kind of already talked about it a little bit. This was, again, you put this in. Yeah, the the, o- the only thing I put here was bad PC ports in current year. Why? <laughs> um, <laughs> so Jedi Fallen Order was one of them, and then The Last of Us on PC turned out to be a shitty port, and I'm real upset about it. Oh, it did. I did. Was... Yeah, you were excited to play it, right? Because you hadn't. You'd, you'd specifically not gotten any spoilers for any of The Last of Us stuff for for years. Waiting yeah. for it to come out on PC. Well, I mean, well, I watched a play th- like, like The Last of Us. I, I think that the gameplay is, is, is both unique in a, in a way and exactly what I wanted from a game. Like mm. I was, I was really excited to play it because it's kind of that, especially on the hard difficulty. From what I understand, it's really that like hard hitting, immersive kind of like heavy combat. I guess, and that's what I really like. Um, I and of like course, it's, it's. You didn't like it? Nah, I didn't. <laughs> well, I mean, you're. I mean, I feel like you're probably like you liked Gears of War, and that was like real fast and snappy, and yeah, it's true. Yeah. So, so I, I mean, to I be fair, I don't, kinda... I don't, I didn't dislike it as much as such, but yeah, Last of Us for me just didn't hit me in all the right ways. And then I, I played it once, and then I was done with it, and I never played through the second one. I just wasn't interested. Yeah, but but they they. Uh, and they botched the PC port of it too, so it it runs like garbage and has a bunch of issues. So, yeah, that's mm-hmm. fun. I'm I'm just that's great. I'm just so excited that we've come so far and we still cannot do PC ports or ports in general. I mean, the the on PlayStation the game runs like garbage in terms of uh, the fall, uh, Fallen Order, um, as as uh, Hammer mentioned. So yeah, and it's meant to be even worse on PC supposedly than it is on like the PS5. Like it's just. It is crazy, like because I mean the the consoles these days are just PCs at this point. Like, there's no real yeah. excuse for it anymore. So, uh, yeah, I'm just I just can't believe we're still doing this. We're, we're I just still, don't buy games still... like on release. Like, I just I you don't... can't anymore. You no, can't. No. I've never I haven't pre-ordered anything in years. I never buy anything on release. I always um, what's the game that came out? trash um cyberpunk i was considering oh, yeah. playing cyberpunk and it, as soon as like i didn't buy it initially and i just thought i'm just gonna wait forever until they actually fix fix it because what's the point i've just got no interest in playing it immediately and try to go through all the bugs yeah yeah i the literally the only time i buy games new now is if i'm gonna like stream them on day one or something yeah that's like i uh, yeah just just wait Wait for them to be fixed and be half price, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there's this new game come out that I haven't played yet because of my internet, but because um, I was planning on playing it all day Thursday, which was my off day. Um, it's called Shadows of Doubt, and it's like a uh, detective game. So it's like an immersive detective game in like a like a voxel environment where the the worlds are semi procedurally generated, but kind of the deal with it is that like every room of every building is enterable. And like some of these buildings have like 12 floors plus four basement floors, like from what I've huh. seen in a little bit I played. And it's, it's like a free form kind of detective game essentially. Hmm. Um, so interesting. 
I haven't. I can't. Exp- I can't explain very much of it because I haven't played it yet. But apparently, it's very good, um, and I'm excited to play it. And it seems real, real interesting and real cool. So that's kind of the only. That's the NOS game update. Last last episode, it was big ambitions. In this episode, it's it's shadows of doubt. And hopefully, I will get to play it soon. Um, NOS, have one, you I, ever so, watched? Not to cut you off, but have you ever watched True Detective? Yeah, I've I've watched the first season. Um, okay, because <laughs> you saying that you're off on Thursdays just reminded me of that line where he's like, "We're gonna have to take a break here, going to get buy some beer." He's like, "No, no, no. What are we doing?" He's like, "Thursday's my day off. On my days <laughs> off, I drink, start drinking at noon. You don't get to interrupt that." <laughs> so, if I had off on Thursdays, I would do that. If I was you, just get blackout drunk. Yeah, I I can't do that anymore. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> me neither dude yeah. i went to a wedding last saturday and since i've lost all this weight i'm like once i'm down five drinks i'm silly i used to be able to pound them 30 <laughs> pounds ago but now i can't well i was i was never able to pound them but like I, like i i don't know something just happened and i get like sick at the smell of alcohol now like 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 very nauseous um mm. so i think i just got alcohol poisoning a couple times and it kind of destroyed me. me. Yeah. So. Yeah, um, I don't. I don't drink at all anymore. I don't think. I mean, very rarely. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't either. Every every time I try, I just get nauseous immediately. I'm disappointed. You know. Yeah. It's like not only am I disappointed in a bad mood because because I'm nauseous, but also it's like oh, I can't drink. I'm so, yeah. So. I, had, I was kind of uh, disappointed. I thought Bruffy and I were going to tie one on in New York City, but uh, didn't nope. didn't happen. I had a I had a glass of wine at the uh, theater in London. And that was that was about the the most alcohol I've had in the last like six months. <laughs> Bougie, yeah. Um, but yeah, it just just yeah, it doesn't interest me anymore. It's good, it's poison anyway. I shouldn't drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've just never drank myself ever. Wow, really? Yeah, that's good for you. Yeah, thanks. I just I, I never felt the need. Yeah, it was only at uni for me. As soon as I was out of uni, I, I didn't. And before mm. uni, I didn't. And I grew up in a household of people who didn't really drink either, or you know, drink excessively. So, how much weight have you lost, RDT? Uh, since the beginning of the year, I started at 201, weighed myself this, pounds, by the way, uh, 201 pounds, I uh, weighed myself this morning at 174, so, 27 Dude, well, pounds. You weigh less than me now, and you, um, I assume you're taller than me, so that's, that's 5'10". Good. So. Yeah, you're like two inches, three inches taller than me. Yeah, I'm trying to get cut for summer, Little, you know? Tiny boy. <laughs> trying to look good on the beach. On the beach! <laughs> 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 have you got any plans has anyone got any plans for summer I'm going to Canada what I think I talked about that before Canada yeah. I think we talked about this I think we did talk about it yeah. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I remember yeah All right. whereabouts in Canada uh east like Montreal that lot Montreal I had to connect mm-hmm. through Montreal coming back from Vancouver back in March. Didn't like the airport. I think I told you guys about it. They were oh, piping yeah, in bird sounds. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere anymore. This is like I've I've had my, my breaks and holidays and stuff for this year with the New York trip and then London. Oh damn. I think that's it. Zexy's going over to Sweden. Um Ooh. in like August, I think, early August, late July, something like that. So I'll be I'll be looking after all the animals on my own for two weeks. Oh man. I thought that'll be kinda nice, maybe. Just I've never really <sighs> I've never really lived on my own. I really? Yeah. Now now that I realize I, I at uni I had, you know, my own room in, in the dorms and stuff, but then I was living with roommates in the second year and then I moved back home and got a car instead of spending money on a, a, a another place to live so mm. and then i went from living with my parents to living with zexy so 
Yeah, I've hmm. never, I've never had a, I've never actually lived on my own, really. Yeah, same. I've been living on my own for like four years now, so it's pretty great. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, you're happy with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah is it good? Yeah. Am I, am I, should I look yeah. forward to this two weeks? <laughs> yeah, for sure. To be honest, when you said back in uni you had your own room, I thought you were gonna be like, "But I had a different babe every night, dude. I, I was just <laughs> slinging it, like never alone." <laughs> that would have been nice. I mean, <laughs> oh, don't say that. Do not say that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I just wish I would have really lived before I got locked in. You know? <laughs> before I got this ball in. <laughs> I'm happy with my uh, life choices. Yeah. There's nothing I love more than stupid I hate my wife boomer humor. You know? <laughs> it's like, it's, it's one mess. of my favorite genres of comedy because it's just so sad. <laughs> you know? Uh it's all not catching. I he was a math life. student. <laughs> that doesn't happen to them. <laughs> yeah. True, yeah. That's yeah, that's point. reasonable. That is fair. Uh, <laughs> you oh can start man. playing games for fun again. <laughs> yeah, play games again. Um, all right, Racing Corner. Uh, I wanted to... I, oh, the what? thrilling sprint race we just watched. Sorry, getting the yeah. Name. Well, yeah, the, the it was the sprint <laughs> race just before before, was before the, the podcast started. Yeah. Very thrilling. Yes, Formula oh, One yeah. is the peak pinnacle motor racing series <laughs> in the world. Yeah, it's not yeah. boring at all. Show. Check out the pre-show for some uh, yes. cutting commentary from yeah. myself. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it was good. Your, your British accent on the commentary of the sprint race. The by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, the pre-show for these podcasts always go up on the podcast channel, and they go up half an yeah, hour that before dead the. Channel. <laughs> they go they go <laughs> up half an hour before the podcast starts, so you can actually like you know watch the pre-show before the podcast if you want. Um. But what was I going to say? Oh, the the i race. You 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 got back on i racing, Josh, and you mm-hmm. had exactly the same experience in the Toyota that I had when I first drove it. Because I right. wasn't planning on doing any races with it, and I just I hadn't been on i racing for a while, and I got back in, thought, okay, I'll try this free car. And I was like, oh, this feels good. This feels fun. This is nice. <laughs> okay, let's do some races. And then I had some fun with races. It was just amazing that I happened to raid you on the stream where you had that exact same experience. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That I was like, yeah, I came back to iRacing. I was like, the first thing I tried to do was GTA 3 at NURB. Uh, sorry, GTA 3. GTA 3. <laughs> <laughs> you went to an airbag ring to play GTA 3? That's a- <laughs> Seems really unreasonable. Yeah, I was driving. I was driving the GT Freeze at NURB, but like obviously driving NURB is great fun, as I'm going to try to convince you in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I I was struggling with that because obviously I hadn't played in ages. I was out sorry out of practice. But then people told me to try the new new Toyota because it was a load of fun. And yeah, it just is. The car is just like so fun to throw around, and it's so savable. Yeah, as well. What kind of car is this? Toyota GR86 GR8 yeah GR8. oh oh they oh, okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah. of course that's yeah, a great was, car yeah it was like i was just i was just accidentally drifting around corners it's like i would mess up and instead of dying i just drift yeah so it was like it was like slow but i was alive and it looked cool it was so it was really fun the races i did weren't that great i i i racing wise i have had a terrible week of i racing i started i practiced for the lmp2 at spa like the there was a the lmdh lmp2 and gtes at spa the the european sprint series i practiced for it and i'm like driving well and stuff and now i'm doing it but like every single race i seem to just have something horrendous happen to me i i've had i've had lap one uh turn one someone from like two miles back just doesn't break like their brake pedal doesn't work and they fly into me and only me and i'm dead (laughs) i've had i've had i'm i'm fourth place but first second and third decide that it's a great idea to go free wide up el rouge at the start um which results in me having a 30 minute repair when they all crash um oh god what else has happened to me i i 
I've had I've had people like try to kill me intentionally. Like I, I was defending against, Yes, I was defending I'm... against a guy for one corner. I did like a really good defense. And then like he got triggered somehow for some reason and then just tried to kill me on the next corner. It just like You don't, you don't see that very me. often in I race. No, no, like... and I'm doing an A class only series. Yeah. This is like insane. Imagine yeah. having your real name on display and still being a goober <laughs> and trying to wreck people. <laughs> like yeah. there was there was one time at the, the the bus stop or the chicane or whatever, I got flipped over by a guy. Like there was like a a five car crash, like two cars span out and then three of us sort of drove into them. But like I avoided the actual crash, but someone just drove into the back of me and flipped me over and everyone else just drove on by themselves. Um there was one race, so the last race I did, it was like a super intense race. I had to work super hard to try to stay alive and avoid all this crap, and I came fifth. But there was one GTE I overtook who I accidentally hit and span. And as soon as I touched him, he was like, he, he just immediately on the voice, just like raging. And he, he said straight out, if I see you on the track, if you come past me again, I will take you out. <laughs> and I'm just like, I've made one mistake this whole thing to one guy, and it's the one guy that's like, I'm going to kill you. Like, <laughs> This is why I have everything muted on the voice. <laughs> They're so uh, eye racing is so sweaty. It seems it's yes, just, just drenched in the sweat of nerds. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very uh, try hard, and I, I enjoy that about it. Normally, about how hard people are trying and how intense some of the things could be. But yeah, sometimes it's just ridiculous. So yeah, I'm gonna try again Sunday and try not to have a terrible time. Yeah, my I rating going into I racing was 2.2k. I'm at 1.8 now. I've lost 400 <laughs> I rating in the past like week. It's just Jesus. been atrocious. Yeah. God, that's bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know what that means to be honest. Is it hard to get I racing points? It's it's like an ELO yeah. system for your, ah, okay. your driver yeah, rating. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I derailed that a bit, but yeah, that's that <laughs> iRacing experience. No, I mean that, that, that was I yeah. I was, I was curious how your iRacing had gone since you uh, got back. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, and speaking of which, uh, Nurburg Ring Twenty Four Hours is coming up. Hang on, iRacing special events. <sighs> And, you know, we always love to have an extra person on the team, you know, the four team. It's time for a peer pressure moment. Yes, <laughs> it, it, it's the middle of May, the 13th to the 14th of May. And, and Bruffy, we're driving the Toyota. Uh, pretty, pretty good. You didn't have me until you said that, and now I'm, <laughs> uh, like, I was, I was a 0% chance of saying yes until you said that. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try it. We're gonna be we're the we're gonna be the slowest car. It's gonna be great. We'll, we'll be overtaken by faster cars constantly, but we will live, hopefully. <laughs> will yeah. you with, yeah. with all those cars speeding past you? Yeah, on I the mean, Nurburgring. Point. Sounds terrifying. Ah, I'll be fine. It'll be great. The We've Nurburgring. Got... It's it's like half a road length wide, or like width wide. Yeah, you got to. Where are you gonna get overtaken? Oh, wherever under the you, behind... they're just going to drive under yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> wherever the people behind us determine is correct, which could be anywhere. Right? That's what I was saying. Yeah, it'd be great. Okay, the the, the the problem I have right is that mm -hmm. I actually used to like driving the Nurburgring Ring in previous games, like Gran Turismo's and whatnot. Like, and, and I used to have done some there's videos on my channel of doing all these special events in GT GT Five and GT whatever it was, all around the Nairberg ring. And then GT Sport, and I started doing GT Sport races, multiplayer races, and then I was kind of feeling a little bit, you know, ugh, kind of getting sick of GT Sport. But I'll do this one event, I think it was a Nordo event, and I thought, okay, I'll, I'll do it. It's around the Nairberg ring. Had the worst time imaginable, and it ruined <laughs> GT Sport for me, and I never played the game again. Right. So then I hadn't gone around the Nurburgring Ring since until uh, the touring car round around the Nurburgring, Ring. And I was so far off the pace, but I actually got a decent result. But it's it made me realize it's such a, like, it's been so long since I've played that, you know, been on that track. 
It's so long since I've, I knew the corners because I just don't anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to have the time to practice. You having me on your team on these events has resulted in me crashing every single time and ruining it for everybody. So I don't want <laughs> I don't want that again, <laughs> especially that around the Nurburgring. <laughs> I feel like that hasn't happened every time. Right? I think there it's happened the, every time. There was there was there was the sausage incident. Um, that one time, right? The sausage incident? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit the sausage care, but Daytona and ruined the race for everybody. Yeah. Damn. But you didn't ruin the race for everyone. That's why we have the sausage emote. That's where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like that's the only time. I don't know. Like, we're, we're going to be in a really slow car, like, way slower than touring cars. Like, I feel like it'd be pretty hard to to die at NURB, right? Even with no practice. Hmm. Like, I was getting around there in GT Freeze with, like, no practice. I feel like I could do it, to be quite honest. Like, in that car? I mean, I would feel confident going around the Nürburgring in that car. Yeah. You know? And like, mm-hmm. like JDM said, we have, like, six laps at the start before people start to pass us. I don't know how... Well, I guess that won't matter much if we're not... No. <laughs> you won't be starting the race, but... But like, what we're are, gonna what, be so what are the out. classes? Who, who else is in? Like, what are the cars um, in the race? It is. Uh, you have. Uh, I had a list at some point. Let me open iRacing, which may take a minute. But it's the GT Freeze. Um, definitely. There's the. I think there's a touring car. There's a Porsche. The, there's the Toyota, obviously. And. Um, God, there's maybe five Japan. classes. GT3, GT4, oh, yeah, Porsche Cup, TCR, and GR86. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, three classes. Five, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, the Nürburgring is always a lot of things. It's like, it's not, unlike other stuff, it's like not every GT3 car. There's only like a few because mm. they don't have enough car slots. Yeah, yeah. Isn't right? it eight maximum they can have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, eight cars maximum. Yeah. So you got the, you got the Porsche, which is the pickup, the BMW. Then another Porsche, and then a Mercedes of the GT threes, mm-hmm. and then another Porsche. How many Porsches? You got another Porsche for the GT four, and the Aston Martin GT four. I didn't even know there was one. Yeah, and then the Audi T touring car, and then yeah, Toyota. Yeah, and we're the slowest. Oh yeah, by a fair margin, I believe. Is the eight six? Is it is it like a racing eight six, or is it like the street? Um... It's it's a racing one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When was it? Uh, the middle of May, thirteenth to fourteenth of May. Ah, oh, I'm meant to be playing yeah. iRacing on the thirteenth as well. Ah, oh. we're we're still scheduling it now. We haven't done any of it. Yeah, that makes it that makes it more difficult for me to say no if I'm going to be on iRacing anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we 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 currently Sounds have. Like you're doing it. Yeah, we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six ish drivers. So you'd be like the seventh so it's like we're not going to do much driving each like, if yeah, i crash Personally, i have an engagement party that weekend i can't i can't do it you know damn Maddie, do, god but, damn it you know sorry <laughs> if i crash and ruin it for everybody i'm blaming it on you okay that's i've fine. given I, you I'll... fair warning that i, I yeah. am not happy about doing it because I don't want the weight of the team on me again when I inevitably ruin it for everybody. The weight of prolapse motorsport yeah. is going to rest totally. That's one of the yours. worst moments ever. When I hit that sausage cab on that Daytona race, I was it I felt so man. bad. I felt so bad. I mean, it's yeah, it's it's nerve, right? Like the you, I don't think you can really kill the car on NURB. Don't you, say you would, things like that. <laughs> you would, you would damage it Failing is impossible, bro. It's yeah. impossible. You'd have to like tow for a long time, probably. But like, yeah, I don't know. You, you, if you've played a lot of like, it's the same track everywhere, right? They haven't changed it. Is it and, official and I, event? So it'll be like based on your the I ratings of the team and stuff like that, and averaged out and whatnot. So the splits are yep. all. Yep. 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 But, and uh, I imagine because we're in the free car, there'll be a lot of us. Mm. So we'll we'll have like a pretty like similar skill level split. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we may not even have all of the classes because we might be pretty low split. I don't know. I'd have to it look might just be all Toyotas. <laughs> we, that would be pretty interesting. An all Toyota race, yeah. 
it's oh, possible. You, be... If yeah. there's not enough of the other cars. Yeah, I don't like. I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done the like they. You know, they do the the free hour ones every now and then of these. Mm. Um, I don't know how the splits of those have gone. So I don't know what the yeah the popularity of all different classes are. All right, fine. Yeah. Woo, yeah. All right. Re- just just read hash prolapse in my Discord. I guess it's like we have the the document or whatever. Yeah, just can... just search up prolapse and you'll you'll be. Hooray! At least I've got the new wheel that might help me not. Right, it saved me a few times, so you know. Oh yeah, right. It'll help me not crash. <laughs> yes, blame the wheel. It was the wheel. That's yeah. why you get the sausage. Yeah, it was the old wheel. That was the problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay, you've yeah, persuaded yeah, yeah. me. Okay, sick. I knew it being in the Toyota would do it. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I was thinking of doing it in GT3, and then yeah, I drove that Toyota. And then people said we can do it in that, and I was like, "Hell yes!" Just, just be the slowest cruising around. You know, you know, it might get a little loose, but you can save it. It's yeah. fine. We'll I think if you'd said it, if you were doing it in the GT threes, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, was, that would have been a big ask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Uh, no, R- Racing Corner compliment Adam on IRL Racing Series. That's right. It's it's going great. I'm, yes. I'm oh, real yeah? proud of you. It's Aww. really it's it's really nice. I've Aww. really enjoyed it. The last yeah. episode was real good. The stabilization looked great. Is it was great. It was yep. a great episode. I was really excited. Come home and watch it. And yes. meanwhile, RDT's making that I didn't watch it face. Dude, it's <laughs> such a good series. I love it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're out there in real life, just racing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i yeah I, I definitely it's like one of those video you know when you look at your youtube subscriptions and then like sometimes you see one and you drop everything to watch it it's like that one of those ones for me yeah i came home from work and was Aww. really excited i ate me some little popcorns and I, watched, uh, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I watched my little real life uh, racing yeah. i watched you in pinfold battle it out yeah. for, for the win oh yeah Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> delishing. <laughs> no, that, that, yeah, that, that, I, that's really nice. Yeah, the stabilization is a lot better than I thought. I was like, in, in the yeah. previous ones, I was like, oh, we don't need stabilization. It's fine. Yeah. But then when you showed the comparison at the end, I was like, oh, God, this is a lot worse. We need stabilization yeah. again. Yeah, I, I felt yeah, the same yeah. way. I was like, this isn't that bad. Yeah, it's like, oh, it really is that bad. He was right. Yeah. I think the he- one time Bruff was right about his content being bad in some way. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think when you, you you do get used to it without the stabilization, like you you just your know, your eyes do adjust unless you have a problem with it, like you get sick from from watching it or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, then I, I it took a it took a it was a pain in the ass to work out all the settings of stabilization and how to actually make it work and make it so that it wasn't too zoomed in, but also so that we didn't have black bars all over the place. It was, it was a pain, but I do think it is better with it. And that seems to be the general consensus in the comments. People who couldn't watch it before are now saying Mm. I can watch this. So that's good because I want as many people to be able to watch that as possible. Cause Cause yeah, yeah, like it, it, it's always been the case with the real life racing stuff, even back in twenty fourteen and twenty fifteen, that not many people watched it in comparison to the GTA stuff. But everyone who did always said it is the best series, <laughs> like my favorite series. Like you know, it, and it's nice that um, I've got that back, and it's still providing that same feedback as well. So thank you. It's just, it's just like it's, it's the most genuine series I think yeah. you've, you've probably ever done. You know. Yeah. So. And I got a win again. I never thought I didn't. I didn't expect yes, that I would. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I was then, very happy. But then also somehow second place. Somehow yeah, second for life it. as well. Also, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It, it, we hit all the marks on that one. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, speed run corner to finish us off. Yeah. Um, uh, again, yeah, not so... wrote these, I believe, but uh, they're about you. I wrote them. Yeah, <laughs> I mean you. they're. I'm glad you did because I would have forgot. They're accurate, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, speedrun corner. So yeah, the next game's done quick is coming up, uh, and your favorite San Andreas speedrunner is actually in it. 
Oh, yeah. Damn, I wish I knew some any. I just wish I knew any other San Andreas <laughs> speedrunner just say at that moment. Oh, he, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Hugo, what? <laughs> Hugo, what? Oh my god! Yeah, no, I actually, I, I finally got into a GDQ. Um, they're, they're, they're still doing uh, Casey Fruvia. They're still doing uh, their hybrid events where they have like some on-site runners and some online runners. Uh, I am uh, so obviously I don't want to go all the way to America for a thing, but. I applied for like yeah, the on-site one last time, uh, sorry, online one last time, didn't get it. Then I have a friend who is on the games committee at the event who was encouraged me to continue. Blast. Yeah, who encouraged me to continue submitting. Um, so I did. And then, yeah, I, I got in this time. Uh, I, I Is this scheduled out actually yet? So what, what determines whether you get in or not? Like what... what? So, because I mean, you're so, a fairly like prolific GTA speedrunner. Why would you have not gotten in before? Uh, the problem is for me is San Andreas is quite a long run. It's f- four hours twenty is the estimate. Yeah, I that's gave. that's and that's a big time like slot for yeah. GDQ. Ah, uh, right. And, okay. Yes, and for 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 GDQ specifically, who only has one stream, mm. it's like if 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 a long game when you look at the Okay, me taking a four-hour slot is like most... I'm looking at these other games. There's like 21 minutes, 25 minutes, 35 minutes, 12, 10, right? Me yeah, taking a four-hour okay. 20 slot is like 20 other people can't do their run at GDQ. Right, and if you're okay. watching GDQ and it says next game up is four hours of this game you don't care about, you close the stream, right? Like, yeah, I get you. So, yeah. yeah. For for long runs, they only have a few. I'm like, I think, I, what was it? I was like the second or third longest run of the whole marathon. Right. And I think you're on um, the Thursday. You're at like eight my time on yeah. Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So so the meme of like people misremembering my ESA runs as GDQ runs and then telling me, oh, I loved your GDQ run, Josh, but I've never done one before. <laughs> that meme is finally going to die because I will actually finally have done a GDQ run. Uh, yeah, which is good. It's just a just a bucket list thing for me. Obviously, it's the biggest speed running event of the year or bi yearly or whatever. Um, eh, well, yeah. good. And Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Hopefully, he'll he'll go well. Um, and uh, yeah, raise money for for prevent cancer or actually, is that the charity for that one? I don't remember what the charity is for. I probably should, but anyway, yeah. We need to see a world record. Yeah, probably should. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, probably. But yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, I was going to say, hopefully you're not the longest speedrunner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smart. Yes. So, so what, ca- what cat- which category are you doing? I know it's any just, percent, but... It's just any percent, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, any percent is like it, the, the one where like there are no rules, just beat the game as quick as you can, and it's just yeah. like it's like you to the second mission of the run or fir- third mission of the run i have to do a frame perfect one in three chance trick otherwise the run dies <laughs> and then yeah. and then the fifth run i do the same tr- uh, mission i do the same trick and then i do that loads and then yeah but i it, it's fine Mar- it's it's very marathon unsafe but i have safety saves for every single mission and there's a community tool where i can press a button on my keyboard to like hack the game and like replicate the glitch mm. so yeah it'll be fine but probably won't be a legit run it'll probably be like a, i'm going to try this trick for two minutes if i don't get it we're continuing on with <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah you gotta do stuff oh, like I, that, I, I, bet the, I bet the normie idiots will not like that i bet they'll be like real salty well i that. mean if if I explain it better than that, it's fine. I think. Well, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, but I mean, people are upset that you're doing yeah, glitches yeah, yeah, in the yeah. first place, you know, because it's it's goober normies. So, but like, if I if I don't even explain that I'm using a tool or whatever, it, I can make it look like I'm not doing anything at all, right? Like, I'd probably just explain it the once and then just continue on and then not bring not it up explain again. it again. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I, I, yeah, and the last marathon run I did at ESA where I used it, I only used it in circumstances where i had to i wasn't just like hacking my way to victory i just like oh this one i like, can't do i'll use the thing yeah oh and pray it doesn't crash yeah the game does that a lot <laughs> <laughs> pray that doesn't happen um yeah so that's cool and then the other speedrun marathon i swear all these speedrun news nowadays is just marathons 
Uh, yeah, GTA Marathon is back. It's the GTA speedrunning community's marathon that we host yearly. Uh, we haven't done it for a couple of years because pe- running it is difficult. Uh, but it's coming back. We're doing another one. The schedule is out. It's oh my god! Why am I not prepared for this? Uh, <laughs> because you didn't write this topic. <laughs> no, because I didn't. Yeah, I probably should have. I retweeted this the other day. GTA Marathon. It is the twenty first of May. It starts um, and ends the twenty eighth of May. Uh, and I'm also in this, uh, but I'm doing something different. I'm doing well. I'm still doing San Andreas. But it's a sixty-nine stunt jump race with uh, Omega and MH to my speed. I've friend. seen this multiple times. Why do you do sixty-nine and not seventy? Is it just for because, the memes? No, it's yeah. not. The, there's there's mm-hmm. a stunt jump. Uh, the the big Golden Gate Bridge replica. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what it's called in San Fierro. Uh, there's a jump that goes along it, but you're not allowed to go over that bridge because you haven't unlocked the other island yet. So there's this massive hitbox, like invisible wall that prevents you, but it extends out the side of the bridge and covers the stunt jump. So you can't actually do the stunt jump at the start of the game. But how can you do so, all the others? Yeah, there are ways to get yeah, to the you just get to the other islands of the ways. It's yeah, just that's the yeah, only can, one that's truly that, blocked that, off. Yes, it's right, the only okay. one that's really blocked. There is two ways of doing it. We could play the game up until we unlock Los Venturas and mm-hmm. then do that jump. Ah, but no okay. one wants to run. No one wants to run like two thirds of the game plus stunt jumps, right? It's like yeah, terrible. yeah, yeah. And then the other option is to do an extremely long and complicated series of glitches to get through phase through the the wall. Uh, okay. But also, no one wants to do that because the category is supposed to just be stunt. I jump. haven't even heard of that. What's the long, complicated series of glitches? Uh, it's long and complicated. I could. <laughs> I can try to find a link and link it, but I don't want to explain it. It's, well, it just like does it just at the end let you like no clip through the wall essentially? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You 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 like just you phase through the wall, yeah, using a bunch okay. of stuff. Okay, I just wanted the end result. Yeah, yeah. The, so that the, so the that explanation. That category is all the stunt like you do sixty nine stunt jumps, then you do a really hard glitch, then you do the last stunt jump. It's just the same but worse. Now, yeah. the, the run does the run end. Because I don't think I've finished one. I've watched most of them. Does it end when you fail the 70, 70th yes. jump? Yes, okay. you, you attempt the seventieth jump, and when you collide with the invisible wall, that's when we end timing. Okay. So, so oh, well, we that's do, good because we... then at least like the seventieth is still there, part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. You finish sixty nine. You f- unlock. You find seventy. Yeah, yeah. You just don't actually. You can't complete the last one. So with um, the GTA yeah, marathon, do, 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 are all the games represented? Uh, oh yeah, easily. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, maybe not two and one as much, or the the weird ones, but the mainline ones. Yeah, we, there's there's so much GTA. We have non GTA games as well. We have like GTA clones. Right. Like on the first day, on the first day, we have the new Saints Row game is having a oh, run. God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we got we got a few Red Dead Redemption two runs. Um, not what the whole the, game, obviously. I was going to say, what's the speed yeah, run for yeah. that? <laughs> There's 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 a chapter two run and a gunslingers run, which is a long side mission chain. Um, so they just. Oh, I bet the gunslingers run. I'd, that'd be kind of fun. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's Watch Dogs two. You know all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it's a it's a fun marathon. If you're a fan of like open world, crimey, you know, runny, gunny games. Then yeah, if you like that, that's, this is a good marathon for that. It doesn't work as quite. It doesn't work quite as well as a name though, does it? Open worldy, no. runny crime <laughs> games marathon. <laughs> no, yeah. and that's actually a branding problem we have. Is like we we don't just want only GTA games, but some people hear GTA marathon and then don't submit their cool mm. run of like you know some other similar thing. We're like yeah, no, open it's world fun. sandbox crime action game marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's yeah, that's the the endish of May. Funnily enough, right before that, uh, I'm at another smaller UK only marathon up in Scotland, doing another stunt jump run there, um, and that's like that's the Saturday, the twentieth of May, <laughs> and it's also Sunday. So I'll be coming back while the marathon's happening. So I missed the start of it. Oh, man, you wow. you're busy, very man. busy. Yeah. Yes, I have a lot of marathons to do. And you have time to play games in your spare time. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> Not that much, but yeah, I still do. Yeah. All right. Well, is it anyone got anything else to say? Otherwise, we'll we'll wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. 
<sighs> Gotta right. go for a run. Go even go fast. <laughs> oh, your t-shirt says. Yeah, it says go fast, don't die. <laughs> yeah, that's a good shirt. I like it's that. It's a motorcycle apparel company. Nice. I, I mean, it's it's good advice to be fair, and just in yeah. general. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that will do us for this month then. I guess we'll see everybody next month. Thank you all for watching, and I think we got we we had some decent uh, decent chat in this one, despite not having anything to say, at least for me. But <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, trust me I'm, I'm the world's best at speaking when there's nothing to say i do it all day every day <laughs> all right thank you guys for watching see you all later do you want to say goodbye guys goodbye Bye, guys. Bye. see you later <laughs>